Hi everyone, it is Connie here and I am back with another pregnancy vlog and um, right now I am 12 weeks and a couple of days so this is going to be a recap of weeks 9, 10, and 11. I'm going to try to do this really fast. I, I realized last time I was like over 10 minutes and I try to keep my videos under 10 minutes so I'm going to get through this really quick for you. Um, here I am, 12 weeks, and I'm feeling a little bit better, um, and I just can't believe all this time that's just flying by. I feel like this pregnancy is just going way too fast, and I still can't believe it. Like, I, it's still so surreal to me. Every single day I wake up, and I tell my husband, I'm like, I'm still pregnant. Like, I'm actually, I actually have a baby growing inside of me still, you know, and it's still so surreal and I really don't know when it's going to become real for me. I think maybe when I can start to feel the baby kick or when I'm going to like, my belly's going to pop. Um, my belly is kind of big right now, but I really honestly think that it's just a lot of gas and bloating because, you know, as you know, during pregnancy, um, your digestive system kind of slows down. Um, and that's a result of the hormones and stuff like that so um, it's just been really hard for me to digest things and um, but anyways I want to um, tell you where uh, I where the baby's at on my um, on my Ovia app on my phone which is my favorite app right now I have I'm using a few other apps but I, I keep going back to Ovia I don't know why I just really like it but um, some 12 weeks and two days and the baby is now the size of a ripe apricot 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 I don't know um, but yeah so the um, in today's Ovia it says that the placenta has developed, lessening your hormonal load and is supplying your baby with oxygen. And um, this could not be more true in terms of the 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 um, severity of the symptoms because from week seven until just recently, literally like just the other day, um, I was so so sick. And I I spoke with a lot of my mommy friends, and they never really vomited as much as I did, you know, and I'm talking like every single day from week 7 to week 12, um, and now it's just starting to get better. I mean, I still feel a little bit nauseous, but it's not as bad, and actually, um, I would vomit like so much, like three to four times a day, even sometimes five to six, and one day in week 10, I actually had to go to the hospital and I got an IV and um, that was my first time getting an IV and I was just really concerned that day because I vomited while I was driving. I vomited at least seven to eight times that day and I just couldn't take it anymore. I was feeling horrible and I was really concerned. So I ended up getting an IV drip. Um, I was not dehydrated, thankfully, but the doctor still um, recommended that I just do the IV because I had vomited so much and I basically didn't keep anything down that one day. So um, I was fine. You know, everyone was kind of freaking out. Some of my family members were like, oh my gosh, you went to the hospital. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not a big deal. I was just, I just needed a little bit more um, hydration and I felt a lot better um, when I was getting the IV drip and I felt a lot better a couple of days after that too. And then it came back. The, the nausea and the vomiting came back and I really feel like it peaked in week 10. And it was, you know, continuing on in week 11, and I was just like, oh, when is this going to be over? And um, some of my uh, subscribers commented that um, I should try Declegis, which is a combination of B6 and um, Unisom. And it turns out that that particular medication was not available through um, my pharmacy. So... And I checked the price for it, and it was like for an outside pharmacy, and it was like... 180 bucks for like 30 pills. So I was just like, no, no, no. I'm gonna try to see, I'm gonna wait it out and see if I can get better. But, um, so yeah, let me just read you um, some of the newer symptoms that I experienced in week nine, 10, and 11. I actually had to write it down because there's um, a couple of things. And um, so nausea and vomiting obviously got a lot worse. I, I couldn't really keep a lot down. I had to carry a, a plastic baggie around with me. I started experiencing excessive saliva. I would just be lying there or sitting there and pools of saliva will just, you know, form in my mouth and I'd have to have a trash can 
and continually spit it out like every 30 seconds and I honestly think the, the, the saliva was excessive because um, I was on the verge of vomiting so um, that kind of has a connection with it and um, I was burping a lot. I was burping constantly. Uh, sometimes I'd have to get up in the middle of the night and sit up to just burp. Really bad burping and it's constant, it's every day, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that it, I'm having a hard time digesting my food. Um, I also was having um, ex excessive mucus, so week nine, 9 and 10 I was just constantly having to spit out mucus that was kind of dripping down from the back of my, from like I guess somewhere in my nasal passages and dripping down my throat, so I was constantly having to spit that out, you know? Heart palpitations. Heart palpitations is something that I started experiencing weeks 10 and 11. Um, you feel like your heart is like, kind of like, kind of like skipping faster or beating like faster at certain intervals and it would do so in such a dramatic way that I would actually end up coughing. It would cause me to cough, and my husband thought that I was coming down with a cold, and I'm like, no, no, I'm just having some heart palpitations, that's all. So those are really uncomfortable. I also noticed some things with my skin. Um, I was really surprised that I didn't break out more because I grew up having acne, like, all my life. And, you know, it's something I'm really insecure about, and I, I feel like that's the reason why I wear makeup is because I'm trying to cover that up, I'm trying to cover up the scars. But um, I really thought once I got pregnant, I was like, oh no, the hormones are going to flare up my acne, and it didn't really do that. Um, I am breaking out a little bit over here on my jawline, but in general, my skin got drier, which is really, really interesting. And so I've had to change my skincare routine. I'm not really using the harsher cleansers and stuff like that. Um, I'm using more gentler uh, foaming cleansers and just not putting as much stuff on my face. Um, I was using retinol for a while and I stopped using that because it's it's very strong on the skin. So, um, so yeah, I've had to change um, my skincare routine. Um, so that's just something else that I noticed. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I do feel like my belly is getting a little bit bigger, but I feel like most of it's just bloating. So that's pretty much it. I am going to now show you my belly. You guys can tell me, is it a real belly or is it just, you know, gas and bloating? I don't know. I have no idea, but I do feel like um, it is pretty big right now because I haven't been able to digest my food really well and I, ha I feel like I have a lot of undigested food just kind of sitting there. So, here is my belly. I'm wearing uh, maternity pants, maternity jeans right now, but um, yeah, it's not that big, but it definitely does feel bigger uh, than normal. So I, I couldn't fit my regular, regular jeans anymore. And so yeah, I had to get some um, some maternity jeans. But that's my belly. But um, okay, so I have some fun videos coming up, and I hope you guys will stay tuned and continue to follow my journey. I have I bought some pregnancy buys, like a little haul, and I want to show you what I got. And um, yeah, so thanks to everyone who has recently subscribed. I really appreciate that. And congrats to all the other TTC ladies that are pregnant with me. Oh my gosh, we get to go on our pregnancy journeys together. This is so cool. Anyways, thanks so much, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. So, oh, wow. this baby sack carries a baby with oh one gosh. limb bud, the other limb bud, that's the head. Oh my goodness. It's almost like a peanut shape. And there's a heart it's in the middle. It's so visible now. Right? Turn around. <coughs> there's two Let's legs down here as well. <laughs> Do you want to make the baby bigger for you? Yeah. Oh, Maybe wow. you shouldn't be camera shy. Oh my god. Poo, how do you feel? You're okay? Yeah. Man? Now she say all that vomiting is worth it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the head right there. Oh my goodness. See, Poo, it's slower. What's well, slower? It's faster than last time. Is it faster than last time? Much. Wow. How fast was last? 111. Now it's 168. <gasps> I told wow. you she would be between 160 and 180, right? How could you think that was... <laughs> I, I, maybe it's because I'm used to it now. Last time I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah.
Okay, so now oh, we do the scene. Are you okay? I can't believe there's something in there. Oh, oh, baby, oh my goodness, he's moving! Boo, oh, the baby's moving! That should be a YouTube moment. Boo, that is crazy, boo! <laughs> that is insane! Oh my Dr. goodness. Lin, I don't know how many weeks I am exactly. So well, would you be able you to are tell me? about, within three days, you're eight weeks, five days. What is it? Eight weeks, three days. Okay, oh so goodness. officially eight weeks, three days.